it's Chris here and welcome to the new Firebase video series. Just a quick note if you don't know what it is, Firebase is a platform that's going to allow us to add database capabilities to our app pretty easily. But more than that, it can also provide other features, a lot more actually, in terms of analytics, monetization, storage, authentication, and a lot more. To get the full list, just go to firebase.google.com and on the homepage they list out all of their features. Another thing I want to mention before we get started is that this video series isn't intended for the complete beginner. So if you just started out and you haven't built any apps yet, I would recommend you to check out my beginner series instead. That's designed for the complete beginner. Otherwise, I'm going to be talking about and doing a lot of things that might go over your head and it might not make a lot of sense. Okay, so over the next few videos or so, I'm going to show you how to uh, create your first Firebase app, how are you going to connect it to your Xcode project, uh, how the data is structured in the database, and how to save uh, how to save data, how to retrieve data. And in the process, we're going to build something like this together. I hesitate to call it a chat app because there really is much more to a chat app. This is sort of just a messages app where anyone who is going to uh, launch the app is going to be able to compose a new message and they're going to be able to type some text and well, let me, I don't want to type garbage here but let's just say hello YouTube and add it and you can see that instantly it's reflected in the database so you're gonna be building something like this in the process of learning all of that cool stuff alright I'm really excited to be doing this for you because adding database features to an app is one of the most requested things by you guys and with Firebase, it's actually not very hard at all. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.